Great to see everybody here. Well, uh, I just want to welcome all the media that's here and all of our team owners and our partners from NASCAR. Thanks for joining us at Chevrolet's World Headquarters and our company, General Motors World Headquarters. It's great to have you here. And the drivers are here. Casey Kane, driver of the number five Chevrolet winner of the Brickyard 400 is here. Let's give him a hand. Chase Elliott, driver of the number 24. Seventh in points. Alex Bowman's here. He's going to be driving the 88 Chevrolet next year. Guys, welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. Driver of the number three. He's a winner in Charlotte. Austin Dillon's here. Let's give him a hand. Ryan Newman, driver of the 31. He's a winner from Phoenix. And Paul Menard's here, the driver of the number 27 Chevrolet. And I stood with this guy in Winter Circle when he won the Brickyard 400 in 2011. It's great to have you guys here. Welcome. Thanks, guys. Driver of the number 42 Chevrolet, Kyle Larson, two wins, one at Fontana, one at Michigan, and also Jamie McMurray's here, number, on the number one Chevrolet. He's running eighth in the Cup Series points, looking to put it in the, uh, put it in the playoffs as well. Thanks, guys. And we got A.J. Allmendinger, driver of the number 47, and Chris Buescher, driver of the 37. Guys, thank you for coming. And Ty Dillon, driver of the number 13, is here as well. Welcome, Dale Earnhardt Jr., driver of the 88. Wow. And also, our Executive Vice President for Global Product Development, Mark Royce is here. Guys, welcome. Awesome. What do you got here? Thanks, man. Thanks, Dale. Well, uh, I wanted to say thank you uh, on many, many fronts. First of all, it's a beautiful car, and thanks for driving me out here. It was a, I've never driven with uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., so that's a personal bucket list thing, so thank you very much. But I wanted to say uh, thank you from all of us at General Motors and Chevrolet for um, the role that you've played representing Chevrolet your entire career, the role that your father played, and the role, frankly, that your grandfather played. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a great ride, and, and uh, being in a Chevrolet all these years uh, has sure been a pleasure. I appreciate you guys having me here today, allowing me to drive this car out here for this unveil. I'm excited about the new Camaro for next year. Let's take a look at the future, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, yeah. Wow. Man, oh, man. It's not my seat. It's a little tight in here. <laughs> this is Larson's seat, I'm sure. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I made it. Ladies and gentlemen, seven-time champion. Mr. Jimmy Johnson. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for driving that out, man. Oh, man. It's a monster. I, yeah. I love it. I've so enjoyed driving the car. Um, the, uh, the torque, the power, the handling. Um, it, it is uh, very fun to drive on the street. And I, I know the consumers are going to love and enjoy that. And then I've never raced a, uh, a Camaro. So I'm excited to get on the racetrack and, and be in a Camaro next year. A first time in a long, long time for a Camaro to be on the racetrack. And it uh, looks amazing. I know it's going to perform very well. As a driver and a mechanic and, and having some understanding of what makes these cars tick, you're, you're always kind of looking at what you have and what you would do to make it different or better and improve. We see a lot of things in this car that we're excited about. I think I see a lot of drivers over there that are itching to get behind the wheel of this thing and see how to make it work. And uh, it's going to be a very competitive car. It's going to be a very good car performance-wise. I know a lot of Chevrolet fans have been looking toward uh, the next chapter. Here it is. I think they're going to be excited about what they see. My initial reaction was cool. It, uh, the first thing I kind of noticed is it looks fast, so that's a good thing for, for our sport. Um, it was actually today that I found out that it was going to be a Camaro ZL1 and um, saw it for the first time when everybody else did. So it um, looks like a really awesome race car, and I can't wait to get on track with it. To be able to unveil it this early, all of us race teams can kind of start working on it, planning towards 2018, and, and really go out there as a whole as a manufacturer group and, and try to make Chevy dominant again. First thing that I noticed was just how similar it looks to the production car, with the way they have them both parked next to each other, um, which I think is so cool for our fans to, uh, to see us race a car that's so relatable to something they can buy.